Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at a new model called Lawn Cat Image, and also Lawn Cat Image Edit Image. I've been experimenting with it, and I wanted to share some of the results and walk you through how to get it set up. Before starting the video of, you guys could just like, subscribe to this video. So, let's begin. We're gonna explore the Lawn Cat Image model and the Long Cat image editing model as well. Let's jump over to the GitHub page for a more in-depth look at what this model offers. Okay, here we are on the GitHub page. As you can see, there's a brief introduction to the model, highlighting its key features. One of the most impressive aspects is its exceptional efficiency and performance, especially considering that this is a sizable model with six billion parameters. You'll also notice that the model is designed to produce results with a high degree of photorealism. This makes it great for generating images that look incredibly lifelike. And importantly, Longcat has special handling for text rendering within images. We'll be testing this out later to see how well it performs with text. The Longcat suite actually offers two distinct functionalities, text to image generation and image editing. Both operate using a semicolon delimited text prompting structure. This allows you to control the generation and editing process with precise text instructions. As you can see, Longcat has released two distinct models, one for standard image generation and another specifically tailored for image editing tasks. I'm gonna walk you through the installation process for Longcat within ComfyUI. As you can see on the screen, this is the specific GitHub page for the Comfy UI integration of Longcat. The installation process is surprisingly straightforward. The GitHub page provides detailed instructions. The page also has guidance on troubleshooting if you encounter any errors during installation. Keep in mind that this model can be resource intensive. The documentation mentions that it typically utilizes less than 24 gigabytes of VRAM. First, You'll want to copy the Git repository URL from the GitHub page. Then, navigate to your Comfy UI portable installation folder. Inside the Comfy UI folder, you'll find a directory called Custom Nodes. Open a command prompt within this Custom Nodes directory. In the command prompt, type git clone, followed by the URL you copied from the GitHub page. This will download all the necessary files for the Longcat integration into your Comfy UI installation. I've already downloaded the code on my end, so I won't run the command again. As you can see right here, the Longcat images folder is already present in my custom nodes directory. This workflow consists of only three or four nodes, making it easy to understand and adapt. First, we'll test out the text to image functionality. This particular prompt was inspired by an example from the Hugging Face website. I've translated it into English. The prompt is a young Asian woman wearing a yellow knitted dress. I've input this prompt into Long Cat, and here's the image that it generated. As you can see, the result is pretty impressive. It looks incredibly realistic and accurately reflects the details described in the prompt. And we are using a resolution of one, three, four. Four height and the width. So let's experiment a bit more and try another prompt to generate an image. I'm thinking of something like a young American woman wearing cream colored knits adorned with a golden earring standing near a metal railing. She's putting her hand on the railing in a contemplative manner. So here it is, the output from that prompt an American woman wearing a golden earring. And as you can see, the sweater is indeed the same cream color as specified. She's also touching the railing, just like I described. Pretty good result, I must say. We generated this one using 50 steps of diffusion and a guidance scale of 4.5. Okay, so generating images with these settings will likely require a significant amount of VRAM on your graphics card. If there's any GGUF file or perhaps an FP8 version of this model available, then you can search for that specifically on Hugging Face. 
These optimized versions often require less VRAM. For this next example, I've written this specific prompt. You can just pause the video at this point and take a closer look at the text prompt I used if you want to recreate the image yourself. So I've updated the workflow seed VR upscaling to get a better resolution photo. So this new image looks pretty much, much better than the previous one with significantly more detail. And I'll change this setting for better resolution as well, setting it to 1920. This specific setting will give me a full HD photo, which is what I'm aiming for, okay? So let me just save this high resolution image as well. So, so now let's try image editing capabilities, or before that, let's try text generation within the image. For this one, specifically using semicolons in the text. So we are using this right over here, we'll write autumn on a surface within the image. The display will be seen behind, artistically placed on the T trunk in the scene, okay? We wrote autumn in the prompt, and as you can see, it's written autumn over here in the generated image. Looks pretty good. And it wrote exactly what I wanted with a short A, not a capital A. And I've even applied this compare note in my workflow to visually see the difference between the normal photo and the upscaled photo, and it looks pretty good. It's much better with the upscaler applied. If you happen to have low VRAM on your GPU, then you can use one of the other upscalers that are available because Seed VR requires a significant amount of VRAM. Alternatively, you can use a smaller model, like for Seed VR 3 billion parameter one, which will require less VRAM for image generation and upscaling. So as you can see, the upscaling process has detailed a lot more of the image. Okay, so now let's try text to image editing. So this is the same photo that we took earlier. Now let's try to remove the word autumn from the T-trunk to see if the model can accurately do edits. And it has done it and looks pretty good. And there's no smudge or any kind of artifact remaining from that board or anything like that, which is great. So over here as well, it looks pretty good and seamless. Let me first try to change the sweater of the girl in the image. Let's change the sweater from green to baby blue. So here it is, the edited image. Looks pretty good, yes. So let's change the girl's sweater from green to baby blue. That's the first edit. And remove the sign autumn behind this. That's the second edit. Now let's try both edits at the same time and it has done it and looks pretty good. And there's not much of distortion or any unwanted artifacts in the image, which indicates a successful and clean edit. So this is the upscaled version of the edited image. This one also looks pretty good with the edits seamlessly integrated. Okay, I didn't change this resolution setting over here. I'll set it to 1920p for future generations. So this was the long cat image in long cat image edit, showcasing both generation and editing capabilities. So if you guys liked this video and found it helpful, then please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.